at some questions. Uh, what are the most significant changes you've seen in your life? I'm so busy, I don't notice any changes. <laughs> Where do we go from there? Um, what was the happiest moment in your life? What's the happiest moment in your life? And I saw an old woman lying on the ground, dirty, urine everywhere. I said, oh, uh, Paul, why are we sleeping on the floor. She said, I fell down two days ago. And, and I uh, hurt myself so much, I cannot get up. So I said, that means you have two days of food. Yes, I'm very hungry. <laughs> I said, all right. So bought the food. At the same time, I called ambulance. Because I fed her food, cleaned her up, and then the ambulance came. She said, I don't go to hospital. People go to hospital to die. I said, let's go for a joyride. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> By then, she had her meal. She had her wash. She was quite clean. So we take, went for a joyride. She was very tired by then. So we landed in a hospital after the joyride. And then I put her to bed. She held my hand. You don't go home. You're the only person being kind to me. I said, you had your porridge. I haven't had mine. Let me go and eat. Then I come back and hold your hand again. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I let me go and eat. Yes. So she let me go and eat. So I went by then. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. So I went home to eat. Then I slept a bit. I went at 8 o'clock in the morning. I told the nurse, let me get in to see my friend. Yeah, come in. And so on the same bed I left her the night before is a different person. I said, this is not my friend. She said, oh, I took a poser on her desk. Your friend passed away at two o'clock just after you left. She, she passed away. I was very happy, not because she passed away, but she passed with clean and under caring hands. I was very happy that was a, the reward to me that I was there in time and she was hungry and dirty and I cleaned her up and I took her to a place where it's under the care of professional people. Not happy that she had passed away, but happy that she died clean and under caring people. It was a great reward to me. Thank you. Okay, what are you most proud of and why? What, what, you? what are you most proud of and why? What is uh, you most proud of and why? Most what? <laughs> proud. 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 Oh, what are you, is, is you most proud of and why? I am not proud. <laughs> I don't know that I'm proud of anything. No answer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you change a little bit your question. Yeah. <laughs> um, who has been the biggest influence on your life? Who has been the biggest influence in your life? My holy mother. Tell us why. Yeah, see, one day we were we were very poor, and so we went down, uh, there was nothing we could, we had no money, so we didn't, didn't buy any food, we just go around, dig from the roadside, bamboo soup and, sweet, and potato. sweet potato, and so we cook to eat. And one woman came by With her. and said, please, uh, give us some food we haven't eaten for two days. My mother, without asking us, took the whole pot and gave it to her. So that was a very, very good lesson to us. Whose need is greater has the first right to eat it. I said, this is all my life I will remember. Who is hungrier than I has my bowl of rice. Did you ever do anything naughty? 
<laughs> Did you ever do anything naughty? If I don't remember if I've done it, I won't tell you. <laughs> Um, what advice do you have for Singaporean children? Children or grown up, be always cheerful, happy, obedient. Because <laughs> one day, one I was talking and in the audience, one woman said to me, how do you deal with naughty children? I said, I will ask you a question. How do you bring up your children naughty? <laughs> the opposite mouth, no work comes. <laughs> what thought makes you laugh the most? I'm laughing all the time. I don't know who is the most laughable. <laughs> I'm happy laughing all the time. Everything is funny. <laughs> What is the secret to your long life? I think ha 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 has much to do because people make themselves sick and unhappy and misery will end their life quicker. I am laughing all the time so that may be the wonderful secret. I'm still here laughing. Is all your family as funny? My family were always hungry as far as I know. In my hunger, I still ha ha ha. <laughs> Not that I enjoy it, but I still ha ha ha. <laughs> what advice do you have for people who are young and people in this room? Enjoy the world, youth. Enjoy every moment. You can make yourself happy or unhappy as you want to. Why do you start yoga and why do you do yoga now? One day, I went to a bookshop, one book, it says forever young, forever healthy. So I quickly bought the book and it's <laughs> all about yoga. So I said, I, whatever happens, I will learn yoga. <laughs> So what I learn and what I do with my yoga, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what age was it when you started uh, doing yoga? It was, a, it was 69. I was 69 <laughs> years young. <laughs> then I said, it doesn't make any difference. I will. I will do it. Are you still doing now? I do simple because I fell down four times hurt my leg, hurt my side. I'm trying to do the simple one. Eventually, I'll go back to full strength yoga. <laughs> Are you religious? Do you believe in God? Are you religious? First question. I don't know what it means. People talk about this word, nobody can explain to you what it means. I was still very ignorant. Many people have many different explanations, they quarrel about it, they spit on my table for it, and I still don't know what it means. Do you believe in God? Is that a question? Yeah, that is a question. <laughs> you tell me who he is and never been introduced to him. <laughs> I do welfare work, but I don't have any religion so far. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel Chinese or Singaporean or a world citizen? I am worldian. Worldian, <laughs> not Singaporean. No, I'm a, I'm a worldian. <laughs> Do you feel you are a teacher for others? A what? A teacher. I don't know the meaning of this word. Are you a teacher for others? No. I, uh, we were so poor. We didn't, I didn't go to school. So 
and totally uneducated. And how is it that if you are uneducated, the University of Southern Queensland bestowed upon you the honorary doctorate degree? I told him it's a mistake. <laughs> She, she never goes to formal school. No. And all the time, it's just uh, picked I'm, up. I'm learned. educated. Yeah, but mm. but my, go to school. But she is reading uh, ferociously, uh, very hungry to read yeah. and to get catch knowledge, up. catch up with basic education. I haven't got there yet. <laughs> You may not have done anything naughty, but tell us about your risque behaviour in Hong Kong. You tell me what I did. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I don't know. What did you do? What did you do in Hong Kong? You tell the story. No, 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 you share with them. <laughs> they, they want to hear from you, sister, because I wasn't there. That was so long ago. Yes, ah. I, I believe in being natural. So I started <laughs> being natural. I started and I report to the government and they gave me an island, a ball on a jetty and it's a new lead colony. <laughs> and then and then I also have a a a, a flat called New Lead Flat. <laughs> and then Opposite the road, there's a woman from her window saw my window and went to report to the police that I walk about naked. <laughs> the police came and said to me, there's a complaint that you walk about naked. I said, were you born with clothes? <laughs> police opened his mouth wide, couldn't answer me. I said, that's your answer. <laughs> and, and then you said something. Are, are you are you smarter than nature? Ah, mother I nature. Said, Were you born with clothes? If not, are you smarter than nature? Nature gave you a good body. Why do you have to cover it up? <laughs> so yeah, open his mouth. No word came. I'm a woman being. I'm a woman being. <laughs> No, she's the Chinese very conservative during those times. That's yeah. and your time, you know, those are what, 1920s, 30s? Do you have any regrets? Do you have any regrets? I can't think of any regrets. I've always done honestly what I feel is right. Even if the whole world thinks it's wrong. I still think I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why is why is regrets no good? If I would regret about something, I won't do it to regret. So I haven't done anything deliberately that I'm ashamed of. So I have no regrets. If I do something wrong, I welcome people point it out to me. If I agree, I will correct myself. If I don't agree, I go on. <laughs> okay, we've run out of questions. Anyone? Any want to ask of you have else? any question for her? Naughty or not naughty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, naughty is the better. <laughs> she says she was just wondering. You reach a uh, hundred and. 14 now, right? Yes. Yeah, you're 1898. Yeah. So, what was your mother's age? My mother was 103 and her mother was 104. When I got to 103, I got nervous. <laughs> I was afraid that is the end of my story. But luckily, uh, the upstairs, no place for me. I can't go yet. And when I die, don't bury me at all. Just pick up my bones. 
in alcohol. <laughs> I'll be there. I'm back feet and head. If I don't rise, you know I'm dead. <laughs>